Well, it's 17 minutes and he ain't back. 16 minutes. Well, let's go. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Rogo, can't we wait just a few what minutes? What for? Yeah. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to move that way and fast. Now, right. let's go. Mr. Rogo! Mr. Rogo! What's the matter? What happened? Where you been? With Mr. Scott. We found a hatch. He thought it might lead to the engine room, but he wasn't sure. So he told me if he wasn't back in five minutes to tell you to do it your way. <laughs> Come on, kid, please. Sir. God damn it, that does it. We've been wasting time sitting here while we should have been up front with those other people. Now, come on, let's go. Wait a minute. After all he's done for us, we can't leave without trying to find out what's happened to him. You're acting as if he's already dead. I agree with Mr. He Rogan. made a deal, didn't he? We're going to stick with it. Now, we're going to go up front with those other people right now. Let's move it. I found it. Huh? I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear me, Rogo? I've seen the engine room. I've seen the way out. And it's this way. To use your own words, let's move it. Come on. Robin? Wait, where's Robin? Robin! Robin! Robin. 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 The last time I saw him, he was heading that way. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Susan, you take everybody to the hatch. I'll find Robin. I can't without him. Will you trust me? Huh? Okay. You're the only one who knows where the hatch is. And I'll find Robin. Robin! Oh, that boy, that poor Good little boy, Mrs. Rawson. They'll find him. Come on. Robin! corridor there leading to the engine room. I went through it. Yeah, but now it's underwater. All right, so we'll swim through it. Give me the rope. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, she's right. If the corridor's underwater, what about the engine room? It's in the clear. It's one deck up. I saw it. It's above us. I'll swim through the bulkhead, down a short corridor, and up a companionway. It's not, not more than 35 feet at the most. Oh, is that all? We can do it. Believe me, we can do it. I'm going to swim through. I'll tie the rope on the other end. When I get there, I'll give you a tug, right? Okay. The rest of you, pull yourself along the rope. Take a deep breath first. It can't be more than 30 seconds at the most. Now, Mr. Scott, how long can you hold your breath? I don't know. Hard, do me a favor, please. Try it now. Mr. Rogo, time him. Go ahead. <sighs> Mr. Scott, look at this. Look, I was the underwater swimming champ of New York. Three years running. I held my breath two minutes and 47 seconds. Let me do this, please. Well, you were 17 then. Oh, for hours you've all been dragging and pulling me all this way. Now I have a chance to do something I know how to do. Please, may I do this for everybody? This is Rosa. I think I'm perfectly capable of holding my breath long enough to swim 35 feet. Thank you. Hey, preacher. Take a deep breath.
like that. Will you shut up? What makes you think you can do it, Mrs. Rosen, if he can't? So you can ask anybody, Mr. Martin, in the Women's Swimming Association, just because I put on a little weight lately doesn't mean that I couldn't once be an athlete. Uh, what time now? 39 seconds. Give him a few more seconds. Yeah, he said he would tug on the rope. What do we do, goddammit? What do we do? Pull him back. Pull him back. Give you son of a bitch. Give it. Now be careful. Manny, you think I'm planning to be careless? Yeah. What the hell does she think she's doing? Let her go. She knows what she's doing. She found it. She must have found it. Oh, thank God. must have made it. You see, Mr. Scott, in the water, I'm a very skinny lady. Uh. 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 There's no signal. They're not tugging. Wait, wait. Give them time, will you? Give them time. Hold on, Miss Rosen. Just hold on. Mr. Scott, enough is enough. No. Let me go. Please, let me go. Give, give this to Manny. Tell him he has to give it to our grandson. For both of us. You see, that's the sign for life. Life always matters very much. Yes. Oh, God. God, not this woman. I tell you, something's happened. Bell would have signaled. They've had more than enough time. All right, that does it. I'm going to go through and find out what happened. Oh, no, you're not. You'll drown, too. Let me go, Mr. Rogo. It's my wife. Let him go, Mike. No way. I'm going through it. Now, all of you, stay put until I come back. <laughs> <laughs> 
Give me that flashlight. Mike, please! Take it easy, baby. I'll be back. What the hell happened? You didn't pull on the rope. I got trapped. Mrs. Rosen freed me. Thanks, Mrs. Rosen. If it hadn't been for you, none of us... Jesus. Go back and get the others. What'll I tell him? Tell him nothing! Just go back and get him! I had a lot of guts, lady. A lot of guts.